millions of hours have been spent studying space in the pursuit of finding life in the universe. So what would happen if we found it? Not bacteria or an invertebrate, but an entire sentient alien civilization. Questions we've been asking since the beginning of time could finally be answered. But what if the alien species was discovered in a planet-wide civil war? Imagine the debate that would start. Fear is blinding us. Everything our society has done has led us to this very moment. We can't ignore this. What safety and security will be found in contacting a violent alien race? Is this worth risking our safety, our security? As a compromise, a three-person team on board an undetectable space station is sent to research the alien world. Halfway through the mission, the space station's communication, navigation, stealth, everything mysteriously shuts down. Proof that we were spying on a potentially violent alien civilization now floats helplessly above them. In a panic to understand what happened, a recon specialist is sent to investigate and coordinate a rescue with the crew. Welcome to the Aspire. Initiating scan. Scan complete. Augmented reality systems now available. To the critics of this mission, I say it's not sufficient you voice your concerns of danger or ethics. If you are against progress in this moment, you must acknowledge that our very understandings of biology, chemistry, physics, even religion are thrown into question and you stand in our way.
A mentor once told me that within every great leader is a person of strength. But what is strength without honor? And what is honor without glory? Welcome, Mila. There's no real achievement possible for the daughter of a hero. I don't wish to seem ungrateful, but it's getting cold in the shadow you cast on me, father. The analysis of the terra firm is complete. It's only Silas's taxonomy of the alien anatomy that is behind schedule, which is surprising given how similar... Aiden, what are you doing? That wasn't me. I'm on my way to engineering now. Call me at the bridge when you get there. Look, it's none of my business. I know you ended whatever was between you and Mila. But the way you still look at her, I'm not convinced you're over her. You're absolutely right, Aiden. It is none of your business. Welcome, Aiden.
I never liked space. It's cold, lonely, and gives a man too much time to think. Time to think about what you've done and what you shouldn't have. are a bit savage, but I see no need to condemn them for it. Think about us. Our people crawled out of a violent past, so I wager they too can change. Don't you? I doubt it. The past is always present. Return tools to retrieve ID bracelet. So do you think you can build it? <laughs> Not sure where you think I can hide something like this on board. There's a blind spot in the cameras in the upper deck hallway. Right here. It's possible. But, uh, given the risk, it's gonna cost you. Not a problem. I'm sure it will go to a good cause. Owen, don't let her catch you.
Life support systems repaired. If I had to guess, I'd say we've been hit by something. Trouble is, I can't tell for sure, because whatever did happen took everything offline. Engines, cloaking, communication... I get it, Aiden. We need to fix this. Now. I'm on it, but I have no idea how long this might take. Then let me remind you of what will find us if you don't hurry. We were prepared to do little more than chemically converse with single-celled organisms and now disrespect our subjects by proceeding as if they were. What cruelty we show our cosmic siblings by denying them the knowledge that we exist. This is the Espile to Axiom. We've been discovered. An alien ship is attempting to dock. We're initiating lockdown and preparing for evacuation. Gentlemen, this mission is over. Back up all mission data and then get to the escape pod. Leela, they're boarding. We're done here. Both of you, move! Curiosity is the very basis of exploration. So if you tell me that curiosity killed the cat, I should think that cat died rather nobly. Violence can be segmented into either instinctual or intelligent categories of behavior. Instincts can be tamed while intelligence can be subjected to reason. The problem is, we can't tell which one of these is the cause of their violence.
Usually I wouldn't mention this, but while I was below deck, I found some suspicious welding scars. They aren't listed in any repair manifest, so I opened one up and found this. With these welds all over, I would guess Axiom has full remote access to this entire station. A man, if honest, would observe that we're not really studying these aliens, but comparing them to ourselves. That man, if clever, should seek to remedy this error in our research. That man, if curious, might then wonder what would they think of us. drones returned with the sediment samples, but... Step one. Remove an exhausted fuel cell only... At... Step two. For best performance, perform the two-stage anthropetry analysis of the planar and spatial... Step three. Once decoupled from the phase detractor... Step four. The serial and parallel manipulation of the displacement matrix is automated during the engine restart process. Maintain a safe distance to avoid internal organ dissolution. Note, local zero gravity is required for a full engine restart. All non-secured objects must be locked down.
The first set of drones returned with the sediment samples, but two were damn. Are you drinking? Uh, no. I'm rescuing what's trapped in this bottle. Welcome, Silas. Well, are you gonna share or what? Have a seat. When I was young, a close friend of mine died. Even at his funeral, I couldn't process his death. I can't help feeling like I'm at another funeral, one where we haven't yet found the body. Victims of our own success, we found the mirror in the universe, but like cowards, we hide in the shadows from our reflection. Mila, please wait a moment. Get out of my way. I just wanted to talk. You made your choice, Silas. Man up to it. Observing their violent nature, some might think they are driven by a ruthless intensity, but I see their ambitions are too easily satisfied. The universe calls to them, as it does to us, to ascend to the heavens for the limitless richness that awaits among the stars. Instead, they have descended into destruction over petty matters of power and pleasure. We are witnessing the swan song of their civilization as it turns to ash. We do best to avoid them lest they take us with them. Mila, I can't 
accelerate the data fast enough. I have to destroy the lab. The mission is over, Silas. They can't know, Mila. They can't know what we were doing here. We can find another way. We can still get out of this. They're nearly inside. Goodbye, Mila. I... Self-destruct sequence initiated. Unknown vessel approaching. Mila, I must confess my insubordination. I had no intention to obey an order to separate us. I said what I had to, so that we might be together on this mission. I had Aiden build this place outside the eyes and ears of Axiom. Here, I can finally say, irrevocably, I love you. This is Captain Neil Alexa of the S-File. An onboard failure brought down all our major systems. Shortly after, we were discovered and boarded. The crew is dead. All our mission data is backed up to the escape pod. This won't work. We're not compatible. Forget the humans. Forget about Earth. You can't let them find us. <laughs> 